Why are people rioting in Delhi? This article from the BBC describes appalling violence in the Indian capital, which has led to a death toll of 27 at the time of writing. The article mentions that the spark that ignited the riots was a controversial citizenship law, protests against which have devolved into clashes between opposing sides, and further into crudely armed mobs of Hindus and Muslims facing off. My question, therefore, is what is the root cause of the riots? Why is the aforementioned citizenship bill so controversial and why has this led to increased tensions between Hindus and Muslims? A bit of background is necessary. Recently India passed the Citizenship Amendment Act CAA. It allows only non-Muslim illegal immigrants from Pakistan, Bangladesh and Afghanistan to get citizenship on the ground of religious persecution. The CAA itself is controversial because they exclude Muslims. Also to understand the full power of CAA you need to combine it with another act, the National Register of Citizens NRC. NRC was implemented in the state of Assam which is bordered with Bangladesh at first. To prove that you are a citizen, you need to prove that you or your ancestors were Indian before March 24, 1971. Now, here is the problem. To prove that your ancestors were Indian 50 years ago is no easy task. Many people don't have 50 years old passport or ration cards. Many of the genuine citizens had no land so land document is not available. The area is prone to floods. Record keeping is tough in a backward place like Assam. So, when the NRC was implemented in Assam, it caused some problems. Even some people who fought in the Indian army were ineligible. Not only Muslims, Hindus were also affected by this. Not to mention there were complaints of tampering which are common in India. To summarize, it is very much possible that, even you or your ancestor live in India for more than 50 years still there is a chance to exclude you because you don't have 50 years old documents. But the thing is according to CAA a non-Muslim can claim that he is persecuted in Bangladesh or Pakistan to get citizenship. But what can a Muslim Indian do? Nothing but to leave India. This is why when you combine NRC and CAA the result is devastating for Indian Muslims. Now, another part of the picture. Bharatiya Janata Party BJP and Rashtriya Swayamsevak Sangh RSS. Current Prime Minister of India, Narendra Modi is a member of both organization. They promote Hindutva, an extreme brand of Hindu nationalism. In 2002, there was a Gujarat pogrom which saw the deaths of thousands of people, most of them were Muslim. Modi was Chief Minister of Gujarat State back then. USA, UK, EU denied visa for Modi for his role in the violence. These were lifted a year or two before he became the Prime Minister. Also, RSS is no friend of Muslims in India. They admire the Nazis and fascists. In many ways they are also inspired by Nazis. This is why there is a violence going on in Delhi right now. They are making sure of various ways to make Muslims leave India or be submissive to Hindutva.